Welcome to the Going Tiny Project. You're looking at the top to half of the Galloway kitchen. Um, and it looks shiny and uh, glassy because it is um, epoxy resin poured over beer bottle caps. And as excited I sound in tone, it went absolutely horrible. The caps were glued down with a thin coat that the uh, website that sells this describes as a uh, sealing coat, but you use it to also glue down your bottle caps. If you don't glue them down, then they float away and you have zero control over them when you pour what they call your floater coat or your big thick sealing coat. And uh, they said on the website, and I I'm not blaming them, it's just frustrating to use uh, packaging tape around the edges. And it held up on the back wall which you can't really see the tape where the uh, shade line is where the tape is. But on the front, it fell off and the cutout for the sink, it just couldn't handle the weight. I think because it was pushing in. I, I don't know. And uh, it's leaked everywhere. It's an absolute mess. I have buckets collecting drip and this bucket was empty and now it's got probably about 14 ounces of epoxy resin. Um, it's on the floor. I wiped it up the best I could, and then I put down garbage bags with paper towel. Um, luckily, I didn't use as much resin as I said I would, and so I've got some left. Because when it ran off the edge, I normally wouldn't care. If you look here, it's thin. But the sink overlaps about an inch, so I don't think I'd care. But up front, where we've got a single row, and it's super visible, I basically coated the caps, but it's not... I don't even know if you can tell because it's so glassy. Um, there's no layer. It's not flat and even. So I think I'm going to have to come back after this dries in 24 hours and brush on it, retape it, and brush on a thin coat just there and in a few spots. Because if I'm there, I might as well touch up other spots. Um... And then I'm thinking since the tape fell away, I'm going to brush epoxy on this front edge since that'll be beat up by bumping into it and everything. Um, just really made a mess. And I did it inside only because of the temperature. It says it has to be at least 70 degrees to work it. And it's barely above freezing right now. It's in Salt Lake City, Utah. So I, I couldn't do it in a garage because it needs to be stable heat. It's not just like paint for an hour till it dries. This stuff takes a minimum 24 hours to cure. At least this mixture ratio. Some epoxies are much shorter, but this one's 24 hours to cure. And then it says three days before you actually use it. So um, that thin coat I did yesterday to glue down the caps, waited 24 hours, and it felt hard. There was no tackiness. Um... And then this coat, they say three days before you actually like put in a sink and drill through it. Because um, back here is an empty spot that's from my faucet. Some good friends of mine, I helped to move and they, they graciously gave me um, the faucet I needed for my sink as a gesture of me helping them move. So I'm pretty excited about that. That's actually down there under the sink. But uh, yeah, so this is frustrating. It's just, it's a mess. Um... Had I known this was going to go like this, I think I would have, even if it was in the house, I would have laid down boxes and put plastic over and just let it drip everywhere. Um, so, yeah, and my hands are covered in it, and they're sticky, and it doesn't wash off the soap. I know some, some mineral spirits will take it off, but then your hands are sticky and smell like mineral spirits, and I don't think that's good to absorb any more nasty stuff than the epoxy I already am so it's just I'm ranting a little bit I know I'm being redundant it's just frustrating that it uh it made a huge mess I mean I probably lost a true half uh yeah uh, I lost a good I lost a good quart I'm just looking at my container I lost a good quart on this in just waste and that's frustrating because this stuff two gallons mixed um is 120 bucks, and they told me I need that much for this top. So it looks like they oversold me a little bit, so I have some extra to make up for it, but it just sucks that I wasted that much. So, anyways, thanks again, guys, for following. I've got a lot of uh, picture likes out there for the pictures I posted of this, and I appreciate it. Um, feel free to share anything uh, with this video to let other people know. I'm not going to go through the instructions of it because the website that I got it from, which is... 
beer bar top or bar no sorry bar top epoxy.com website is bar top epoxy.com and they had really good videos on how to do it and depending on if you're doing bottle caps or just to coat over wood or if you're doing pennies really great information very specific to what you're doing um, and they also have an 800 number that every time I called them went straight to a person so this is frustrating but I was really impressed with the company and their customer service so I may call them and grape tomorrow and tell them that uh, I wasted a lot and maybe they'll send me a little bit of a we're sorry residue to uh, make up for it. But anyways, thanks again, guys.